Friday, I believe it's August the 17th. Is it the 17th? Yes. So we are about to get ready to kick off our weekend. So welcome to the weekend vlog. I had to pop in really quick. It is Friday night. I am still in Bama. I just got this amazing quick weave by my girl Bree. Her information will be in the description bar down below, but I mean, look at this. Look at this. So I've been on my 90s kick for a while and nothing screams 90s like some flips. I mean, do you see this? This looks like my hair but it's not, it's a quick weave. We got the asymmetrical bob going. I mean, it is tucked, okay? I can't wait to put some makeup on tomorrow. Get cute, like this is, this is a vibe. I mean, do we see, do we see this? Like y'all not touching her with the scissors and the razor. Baby, this is everything, everything, okay. Back to regular schedule programming because I just had to insert this while I was still fresh. Because when I go to sleep tonight and get back up, I am not sure how this is gonna look. So y'all had to get it, get it while it's fresh and, and check the. Oh, okay, bye, bye. Hey y'all, it is Sunday afternoon. It's about three twelve. I am headed to run some errands. I need to go to Kroger to pick up my groceries. And then I'm going to pop into the thrift store. I'm actually really excited and pumped up. I've had a Celsius, so I am good to go. And I'm ready to have a little bit of me time. My husband and my son are taking an afternoon nap. And I love when their naps are synced because, baby, I get out here in these streets, okay? <laughs> so, again, we're about to go get the groceries. So, we are set up for the week and then head to the thrift store. I'm crossing my fingers that I can find some um, really good, nice, high-quality fall pieces. I am super excited for fall content. Y'all are in for a treat. When I say I have not been this excited for fall fashion in a long time, it's been a long time. So if you're interested in following me around today, just keep watching. y'all so why y'all didn't tell me that i was doing this completely backwards i just pulled up to kroger and i realized girl how are you going to go thrift shopping with groceries in the car and it's 90 degrees outside Child, bye. all right so as you can see we've secured the package However, now we got to go all the way home to put these groceries back because I didn't spend almost $300 to soil food in the car wash shop. So let's go home, put these groceries up. definitely one of those days it's extremely busy I just got a cart so I don't know how much footage I'll get in here but I'll show you guys what I pick up when I leave
today is Wednesday, I believe, August the 23rd. I am just now getting myself together for the day. And can I say, <laughs> I know we've talked about this multiple times already, but the hair girls, I mean, look. So I went ahead and threw on my little 90s inspired fit. So fit details, this top is thrifted from Park Avenue Thrift. The bottoms are vintage Levi's, also from Park Avenue Thrift. I'll go ahead and do a split screen so you guys can see the fit, but I'm feeling cute and I'm ready for the day. So let me tell you, girl. All right, we are going to be making this flower arrangement, changing out my greenery around my home. I do like to put fresh florals and fresh greenery around, more so at the beginning of the week. I'm a little bit late, but we made it. I also want to see if I can finally go ahead and begin decorating my bar cart that you guys seen in the previous vlog as well as my Amazon favorites video. If you have not seen that video, I will link it here on the screen for you guys as well as in the description bar down below. But I have some beautiful thrifted pieces that I'm going to put on that bar cart and girl, whoo! I am so excited. I am also going to have to go liqueur shopping as well. I may or may not get around to that in this vlog. We are tequila drinkers here. So loading up on tequila, a little bit of brown and maybe a bottle of vodka or something like that. And also, ooh, I want to show you guys these cute frames that I got from Target. Well, actually my husband picked them out. He was going to Target to get like, you know, random household things. He sent me a video of these frames and I was like, yep, get them. I am so excited. I am ready to now decorate my master bedroom around those frames. Beautiful. And what else are we getting into today? Oh, we may go get lunch with one of my good, good girlfriends, Jalisa. Love you down. <laughs> so going to get lunch with her. I am still in the midst of working. So yeah, we got a packed day. So if you're interested in following me around today on this beautiful Wednesday, then just keep on watching. All right, I have gotten all of the pieces that I picked up from the thrift store that's going to go on my bar cart. And I'm gonna show you guys those now. Also mixed in with a few pieces that are not thrifted and I'll let you know. But the first piece is this beautiful bowl here. And I'm gonna tell y'all, <laughs> I get so excited about the smallest things and this bowl just really makes me happy. It is so pretty and it's so well made and baby, it was cheap. That is, <laughs> that is one thing about me. I want it to look luxe and elevated but I want it to be for a good price point. So that is why your girl thrifts. But anyways, this bowl was $3.93. And I have certain thrift stores that I go to for certain things. So all of the glassware, my favorite place to get beautiful like vintage home decor glassware is going to be from Fur Kids Thrift Store. They are, um, I think it's like a rescue place for animals Anywho, check them out. But this is gorgeous. I love the ribbing on it. It's very much on trend, but it clearly gives vintage vibes as well. So what I plan on doing with this bowl is going to be putting in some limes or lemons and maybe even both into this bowl. I love putting like fruit into bowls like this because it's going to bring a little bit of color to the bar cart. However, it is still very functional. So I like a cute drink. Okay, we, we like, we're not taking shots, we're having cute drinks. So I love to garnish my drinks. And again, placing these fruits, and these are actual fruits, inside of this is going to be gorgeous. Again, this came from Fur Kids Thrift Store, $3.95. And to be honest, I think I got all of these 15% off as well. So you do the math, girl. Love this. So the next thing that I picked up from the thrift store, I wanted some really cute kind of either irregular shaped glasses, maybe quirky looking crystal style. I didn't know, I knew it when I seen it. 
and I found these gorgeous glasses in the thrift store. They were $3.95 each, again, 15% off of that. And I think these are so cute. They are very dirty right now, so I am going to put these in a bleach bath, some dish soap, and go ahead and clean these very well. But I love these. Again, I can picture cute margaritas in here, um, like lemon drops, just anything goes. Also, if you are like a non-drinker, these will be cute, like really, really cute for like an acai bowl or an ice cream sundae. I mean, really gorgeous. Love the shape. Very weighty and very thick. That is what I love about thrift store glassware. It's going to be quality every time because back then there wasn't really a differentiation between like good materials or bad materials. They just gave everyone the good materials and why not? So <laughs> again, these are gonna look perfect on the bar cart. The next thing that I plan to put on the bar cart are going to be these vintage shot glasses. These were thrifted as well. Now these are, I did not pick these up in the last thrift visit. However, they are thrifted and I just, again, love the light ribbing on the bottom. Super, super cute. The next thing that I picked up from the thrift store is going to be these coasters here. I picked up two of these solid marble coasters for $2.95. They are really, really cute. Again, very weighty. Now these aren't vintage. It does have the home goods stamp on the back of $6.99 was the original price from Home Goods, but that was for a six count. So because there's only two of these, they were $2.95. Love that. So I needed more coasters than this, and I wanted to introduce a little bit of black marble. So I picked up these beautiful coasters here. These came from Amazon. If you're interested in these, I will link them down below. They are in my Amazon storefront for my kitchen, but aren't they so cute like no two are made exactly the same they are solid marble and love these these were these came in a six pack and i believe they're about 25 dollars or so and the last thing that i thrifted is going to be this gorgeous just solid marble tray here no brand or anything on the back i don't know where this is from it is really heavy again three dollars 95 cent a beautiful green color and because i like put different shades of greenery around my home be it in flowers plant pillows green is one of my accents so i was super excited to find this i don't know exactly how i'm going to use it yet but i'm going to use this and then the last thing that i have that is previously thrifted that i am going to introduce to the bar cart is going to be a, a vintage decanter let me grab it for you okay so here is that decanter that i was telling you guys about gorgeous it has like this ship detailing on the front when i originally showed this piece one of my supporters told me where it was originally from but i cannot remember but i love the simplicity of the shape however again it does lean vintage and it's just super super cute very well made right up my alley again i picked this up from that same fur kids thrift store love this it will be incorporated some type of way this is my husband and i's favorite tequila and it is lebron james lobos um tequila the respirado love this as you can see baby we are almost out so i need to pick up some more of this oh i lied <laughs> i said that was the last thing but i did go to target a few days ago and I picked up some stuff for the bar cart as well. I was watching this home decor video I love watching like house and home and I think it's lifestyle co I will put both of those in the description bar down below. I can watch them all day. You hear me <laughs> all day just pulling inspiration but they showed like a wet bar situation and on the wet bar they had this beautiful like jar and then they had nuts in it and i was like oh my gosh that is genius nuts pairs perfectly with a nice cocktail but for me it was so cute because it had that nice brown like rustic texture which pulls all the browns in my apartment i looked at it like a beautiful feature almost not even necessarily the functionality of actually eating the nuts which i will but let me show you what i got so 
I picked up just this standard glass jar. This was $6 from Target. I really wanted to find something that was a little bit more vintage to continue on with the vintage vibes. But because this is solid glass, it was cheap. It'll work for now, but I am gonna keep my eye out in the thrift store for something a little bit more quirky, a little bit more cute, not necessarily mass produced. But I do plan on putting the nuts and the dark chocolate inside of here. So I picked up these honey roasted peanuts from Target. Again, putting those in here, I think it's gonna be really, really cute, such a vibe. And then sprinkling in a layer of these Himalayan salt dark chocolate almonds. So cute, I am so excited and ready to decorate this bar card. So we are going to be doing that in just a few minutes. for my bedroom, well, that my husband picked up when he was in Target. And these are the frames. Like, are these not just gorgeous? These are by the Studio McGee line. I love all of the texture and the slight movement. These are all the same, like, colorway, but some are lighter, some are deeper, very, very cute. And then as you can see here, it has this nice, like, wooden frame. This is so the vibes for my bedroom. These are gonna go above my bed. And this color palette, as you can see, kind of flows nicely with what I already have going on in my home. Super, super excited. I think these were $60 each. And I did get two of them, again, to go above my bed. So if you're interested in watching me kind of make over my room, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, girl, because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know when it's gonna roll out, but when it does, I want you to be ready. I want you to see it. It's gonna be nice. Super excited about these. All right, while I still have a little bit of time, I want to go ahead and show you guys what I picked up from the thrift store on Sunday. The first thing is this blazer. I love it. It was $6.56. I love the color of it. So it's not white, it's like a deep ivory tone. It's gonna be stupid cute for the fall. I love that it has a little bit of weight to it, but it's not like one of those wool, like very heavy type of blazers. Not a stain on it, it's structurally sound. I love the shoulder pads. If you did not know, shoulder pads and suiting is very much on trend this upcoming fall season and i'm obsessed i can't wait but if you know me you knew i was gonna <laughs> i was gonna pick up some blazers anyway but let me show you how it looks so this is what it looks like on and i pick up all of my blazers from the men's department so i would just roll up the sleeves here and it looks like this Ugh. girl come on you you see this, you see this. And also I'm gonna be styling up these pieces, like really styling them up 
in an upcoming video. My pre-fall fashion video is going to eat, but this would be a look right here on its own, okay? So take this off. This is a summer look underneath. Throw this on the top and then boom, you are into the fall. But I want you guys to pay attention to the cut because a lot of times people will pick up a blazer and think that any blazer will do. No, ma'am. That's not true. You have to make sure that they fit your shoulders. So we have a nice, like strong shoulder, but not too strong, you know? And then it kind of comes in a little bit at the waist. Again, this is from the men's department. A lot of people will ask me about sizing on these pieces. Girl, I don't know. I don't get the same size each time. I simply try all of my pieces on before I leave the store. So this one, really nice, love it, and again, under seven bucks. The next piece that I picked up from the thrift store is going to be a pair of trousers. Still kind of sticking to that trend of suiting, but if you've watched my How to Style Trousers video, you will know that I have very key things that I'm looking for in my trousers. Again, you should not just pick up your trousers and it's like an anything goes. No, we're looking for specific things and one is going to be pleating. Look at the heavy pleating within these trousers. And I also love the colors. Browns and blues are going to be one of my favorite like color combos for this particular season. So again, what I'm looking for in a trouser is going to be heavy pleats. It just elevates the look. A place for belt loops, which this has. Again, it will continue to elevate if you choose. And then one that is either a wide leg or like a straight leg. I don't really like the kind of cigarette pant, like tapered look. Not necessarily for me because I have a bigger butt and bigger legs. And also because I have a bigger butt and bigger legs, I like to shop in the men's department because their pants just fit me better. The vintage pair of Levi's that I have on right now are from the men's department. I can get all my junk in there, okay? <laughs> so on the back, I love the pockets. They're like very interesting like pockets on the back. I haven't seen them quite this way before and these are 100% wool. I don't know if you can tell the way by the way that they're hanging, but these are 100% wool. And this is why. This is why I thrift. A lot of people will ask me, you know, why do you thrift? I thrift because I'm bougie on a budget. Let's that's it. <laughs> Full transparency. I'm bougie on a budget. And when I go into these various fast fashion places, which don't get me wrong, I love fast fashion. It's in my budget. But when I want to be a little bit more elevated, I make sure to utilize the thrift store for quality pieces such as these 100% wool trousers. Like, let me show you. Hold on. We, we're going we gonna to show you. Is it going to focus? Let's see. There it is, 100% wool. So you, you just can't beat it. And these were, guess what? $3.95 for 100% wool and they fit my waist perfectly. I don't even have to tailor them. Let me, let me try them on. All right, so these are the trousers on. As you can see, no tailoring needs to be done. They fit my waist beautifully and again look at the back there's no gapping or anything like that love these and then look at that pleating oh girl look at the pleating again three dollars 93 cent so if you want to see these fully styled up make sure you are subscribed and this will be in my upcoming fall fashions video but i love these this is the link Super, super cute. And I have a really nice pair of like a bone colored loafer that would eat this up. Just very casual, very cute. In the summer, you can wear them right now with a nice like tailored waistcoat and it's like some open toed sandals. And then again, in the fall, you can throw it on with a blazer, but I love these. Let me show you the other pieces that I picked up 
in this last year. Right, so uh, these denim jeans are another pickup from this most recent visit. They are very similar to the ones that I have on today, but they are a slightly deeper shade and these are made by the brand Calvin Klein. Again, pick these up from the men's department for $5.45. Now these are a little bit bigger on my waist, so I may either have to do some type of at-home hat or take these to the tailor, but I love that they are actually a size up because I want to make these into kind of a Mason Margiela dupe with these slits on the side. I love those jeans. If you don't know which ones I'm talking about, I'll pop up a picture here. I'm obsessed with those jeans, but your girl is just not, not in the tax bracket to spend six, seven hundred dollars for a pair of denim when these cost me $5.45. <laughs> so stay tuned for the DIY for these. Again, I am just going to be kind of slitting these on the side and um, styling these up again in my upcoming video. I am gonna try them on for you guys so you can see kind of the oversized vibe that I'm going for and then where the slits are going to go. Hold on. Here are those Calvin Klein jeans that I picked up from the men's department. Okay, so boom, look at the waist, all right? So the waist is a little bit big for us. We are going to more than likely just go ahead and take these to the tailor so that they can sit on the waist a little bit more kind of like that. So they can sit on the waist just like this. But again, I love the wash. And then look how they flow away from the leg. I like to have everything to just kind of skim over my body so again too big in the back all the way around and we're going to get those tailored but we need the room in the legs to go ahead and make that slit here that I was talking about Ooh, they are going to eat but what I really like about this particular pair is they are extremely long like look at this very very long so I can put on my heels with these and it's going to be a vibe. No true distressing, just denim. Very excited about these and go ahead and styling them up, DIYing them. I'll show you guys a before and after in a later vlog. And so the last thing that I picked up from the thrift store is this beautiful denim on denim set. Now, this is currently giving grandma, but you, you have to have the vision. So let me show you what it has working for it and what I plan on doing for it. So I love the cut of this. First off, this is 100% cotton. This is that true vintage denim. I love the wash of this denim. I love the cut of this. So I don't fully know the vision for this. I just know I'm obsessed with the color and its possibilities. And then it comes with a denim skirt. And if you did not know, maxi or mini denim skirts are very much on trend. And this one has an elasticated waist, which I'm not really a fan of, but we're gonna go with it. And then it has this cute slit in the back. Again, tailoring this to my waist and having this as a two-piece set with some boots and a blazer, stop playing again you guys may not be able to see the vision fully for this but stay tuned i promise you it's gonna be a look so again ladies i picked up all four of these pieces for under 25 dollars now look i joke a lot but all jokes aside ladies please do yourself a favor and pop into your local thrift store create a pinterest board go in there with you know, open thoughts, put on some music, put your AirPods in, and just take your time, look at the tags, pay attention to how it is constructed and what it is constructed of. Look for nice natural materials like linens, wool, silk, leather. I promise you, all of those pieces are in there. You can find them in mint condition beautiful fit and if not you can take them to the tailor and thank me later i'm telling you i stand for thrifting for a number of reasons one you're going to be fly okay and you're going to be unique and it's going to be good every time but two you are doing something good for the planet this is a very sustainable way to shop i love it pop into your local thrift store and 
thank your girl later because I'm when you see me rocking mine and I'm like it's the thrift store don't don't tell me I'm lying because I've had people to say girl no you didn't yes ma'am I did and this is proof so go to the thrift store a package from Urban Outfitters. This is one of the packages that I've been waiting for. And I'm super excited because they were almost sold out. This is going to be cross my fingers and it shoe for me. I've been obsessed with the color red. So these are red Jeffrey Campbell mules. Let's see. Oh, girl. I am so excited. Look at this shoe. Now let me tell you, this is not gonna be, this is not gonna be for everybody. And it's not one of those things that you're going to wear every day, baby. This is a moment in fashion, baby. This is a moment in time. If I was going to New York Fashion Week, this would be a shoe that I would wear. I love the silhouette. I mean, get into it. It has that nice, nasty point on the front. And then the heel is like nice and curved and this has like this open back mule so cute stay tuned for again my fall styling video i'm going to be styling this up this color red is going to look great with like denim it's also going to look really really cute with brown i can't wait to try it out with a brown suit and I have a red Shein bag that I've been dying to see if these shoes will match. So let me grab it and see. All right. So this is the bag. Again, pick this up from Shein. Love it. Beautiful, like candy, red. And look. Ooh! It is almost like a perfect match. Matter of fact, it is. It is a perfect match, girl. When I tell you, I am so excited for this high-low moment here. She in, I think this bag was like $10, $12. These shoes, I believe they were like $150, but baby, ooh, ooh. And I have some sunglasses coming in from Amazon. Do you know how many fits I'm going to get off with this combo? Y'all gonna be sick of me because red is like the color for the fall. I am obsessed with it. I think it looks beautiful with my skin tone. And again, with brown, look at this. And then with denim, mm, super excited. If you're interested in the bag or the shoes, I will link them in the description bar down below. These shoes also come in black, white, and yellow. These went out of stock and they came back in the stock and I jumped on them really, really fast. Again, I picked mine up from Urban Outfitters. However, you can, of course, get them from Jeffrey Campbell and I believe Macy's, but check the description bar down below. If I can find them, I will link them. If not, I will let you know which colors they do have available, if not in the red. Hey y'all, happy Friday. I just paused for a little break. I am here in my office at work. It is after 11.30, so I'm gonna go ahead and break my fast because I am craving some coffee, girl. Um, I think I have like one K-cup left, so I'm gonna go ahead and make some coffee and continue on with my day, but I need this caffeine, girl. I need to get through these Friday blues because I'm ready to go. All right, let's make the coffee.
quickly show you guys my OOTD. So the top, I am so wrinkled at this point, but the top is from Calvin Klein. On the bottom, I have these thrifted linen pants. And then the shoes are my Steve Madden denim. And for my work bag, I have this um, thrifted work bag here. Got this from Park Avenue Thrift. And then my everyday bag is going to be the Teddy Blake bag. This is the vibes and I have on these sunnies today. These are from Free People. It is much later on in the day. I am exhausted. When I say like <laughs> I've been crashing every day, Aunt Flo has came in like a storm girl. And so I am in my son room watching YouTube videos. If you can hear the background noise, he is in there playing his video games. His dad is in there watching what he wants to watch. I'm just having a little bit of me time trying to gather myself. So I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. We Let's Bye. See you tomorrow. y'all it is saturday afternoon i just got out the shower i had a really long day yesterday actually a long week so i had a slow morning this morning i got up and cooked my husband and my son some breakfast of course i fasted all morning broke my fast with an iced chai latte now i'm about to go ahead and do some skincare and kind of get my day started and also plan on going outside, getting some sun, journeying a little bit, and trying to kind of tap in and figure out what is going on. Because I just feel a little bit off, nothing major, but just kind of ground myself before the new week comes in. So that is what we are up to today. gotten in the car i think i am about to go and get me a salad of some sort before i go to the pool and sit outside but i may or may not actually go sit at the pool because it is so hot like the hot that like take your breath away i'm about to turn on this air 
and get somewhere because this is crazy. Um, my thing says 107 degrees. Let me show y'all. Now, I know I need to get some gas. That's my business. We going. But look at the temperature. 105, baby. I need to rethink this whole process. Do I need to go back in the house? Like, I don't know. But let's, let's go get the salad. So this is the salad that I end up picking up. I love this salad. I get it almost every time I come to Nukes. It's the ultimate salad because <laughs> this is my favorite because it has the grilled chicken. It has bacon, ham, turkey. So it's loaded down with protein. I love the cut of greens that's in here. Not the iceberg, but the really good lettuce is in here cucumbers cheese and honey mustard now i don't eat it with the honey mustard i get um ranch with mine but i love the taste of their honey mustard so i will take the honey mustard home and use it for like chicken tenders or something like that for a little snack now the question is child where are we going to eat and to journal because at this point i'm not messing with this son so it's either go back inside nukes and eat in there, which mm, I wasn't feeling the vibes. Go home, journal on the balcony, or find a shaded area like somewhere at my complex. I'm just, I'm not sure. But what I am gonna do is get into this salad. So let's go. Y'all, I done drove all the way to Nukes and then realized, girl, you still haven't stopped and got any gas. So I told y'all to mind y'all business, but I know y'all was screaming at me in the car like, girl, did you get gas? No, I did not. And I am on a whole zero miles. So thank the good Lord for helping me make it to the pump because I'm tripping. Mm. Let me get some gas. I'm gonna get some water and one of my favorite cakes. When I say... QT has the best cakes. It's like gourmet at this point. It's like you went into a five-star restaurant and got a piece of cake. Like it is one of my favorites. Yes, I have a salad and cake. Don't judge me. Now, I'm going to tell you like I tell everybody else. <laughs> I eat salads because I love the taste of them. My body likes the nutrients. What can I say? But I'm not dieting. Okay, I just really like a good salad. And I'm a always, I'm the type of person that have to have something sweet. Like, why is he staring at me? Mind your business. <laughs> Anyways, I'm the type of person that has to have something sweet after they eat. That's going to forever be me. But anywho, let me get this gas, my water, and my cake. And I think we're going to go ahead and try to sit by the pool and then just see what happens. If it's too hot, then we'll just come into the clubhouse. So that's what I've decided on. Okay, so here is the cakes I was telling you guys about. When I say super moist, super duper moist, I got two of them, don't judge me. One for today, one for tomorrow. And then I have my water. Now, while my gas pumps, let's talk. Okay, so I despise coming to the gas station i've told my husband this a number of times like i will ride if my gas light is on i will ride with my gas light on until i get home and then make him come to the gas station now hear me out hear me out i'm not being lazy granted look i'm here now but gas stations you get harassed i mean harassed by dudes and it'd be so annoying i'm always really nice really sweet i speak and everything but it's so invasive i'm just trying to give me a little dessert and some water and be about my business Child. gas station chronicles i tell you
that is it for me this week thank you guys so much for watching i truly appreciate each and every one of you for tuning in and just kind of dialing in with me for a little bit if you like my vibe please make sure to hit that subscribe button i would love to have you a part of the fam bam and again ladies if you get in a little bit of a funk make sure to go inward check in with yourself and your mental health and i will see you guys next week for more fashion content Bye, y'all. I travel seventy states.